This video, we're going to look at setting some alerts on Thinkorswim Mobile. I am on an iPad. They work similar on Android, and they work pretty much the same on iPhones and Android phones. And I'm also going to point out some differences between alerts on Thinkorswim Desktop and alerts on Thinkorswim Mobile. It's fairly simple to set an alert. You just simply type a symbol in the symbol box, or select a symbol from your watch list which is what I'm going to do and up in the upper left corner you'll see a little bell with a plus sign that is your alert and some options you have is pretty much centered around price and volatility and this is where I'm going to point out some differences on thinkorswim desktop you can set alerts for price conditions which you can also do on Thinkorswim Mobile, but you can also do portfolio metrics, calendar events, you know, like earnings, dividends, uh, news, and analyst rating changes. The latter, everything but the price conditions cannot be done on Thinkorswim Mobile. And also, I was looking at the Thinkorswim Mobile desktop when I was preparing for this video, and I don't see where you can do volatility alerts on on the desktop so I could be wrong but I just didn't see it so let's take a look at the different types of alerts you can set this is price action last price bid price ask a price mark which is also the current price and you can also set alerts on the volatility index you know where's the VIX at in relations to if you want to trade a particular index like SPY I'm sure there's trading strategies where you want to buy SPY when volatility index is low, fear is low, and sell SPY when it's high. That may be a strategy. You can also do front month volatility, which is the would be the contracts in the front month of options. And you can also do back month volatility, which would be any contract that's not the front month is considered the back month. So those are different different types of alerts the most common would be oh point out, you can also do volatility differences and a sizzle index and on close the most common alert is the price action alert using the last price so you might want to trigger it you look at the triggers right below that be greater than or equal to whatever price so let's say spies trade that spies Spy is trading at 308.94. Let's say you want to get in a spy drops to say 303. Then of course you'd want that trigger index to be less than or equal to 303. And if it will trade back at 308, let's put it back there. Roughly, that's where it was. And you wanted to know when it got up to 309 and you want it to be greater than or equal to you want to get in and then of course you just do uh, less than greater than and of course the greater than or equal to less than or equal to and you just create your alert just by clicking the button and the alert was created you'll see it in your alert book here and just to let you know Price action alerts carry over from Thinkorswim Desktop to Thinkorswim Mobile. However, the additional alerts you can create on Thinkorswim Desktop, such as news, calendar events, analyst rating changes, etc., they will not carry over to Thinkorswim Mobile. And notes that you put on alerts in Thinkorswim Desktop will also not carry over to Thinkorswim Mobile. So there we have our alert created. And you'll notice right here on the chart is the alert. You can and if you want to see your alerts, you can simply go to your dashboard or excuse me, your more, more three dot more icon at the bottom here, or you may have alerts set on your first row. If not, just tap on that and you can go look at your alerts right there. If you want to keep your alerts down here, you can simply drag, press down, drag. You have to have a space for it. So let me move log out up. And now you press hold, just drag down. Yeah, come on. 
and you have the alerts right there. That's really all there is to create alerts. Fairly simple. If you learned something from this video, how about leaving a thumbs up? Leave a comment. If you want to know something about trading on Thinkorswim Mobile, put it in the comments below. I'll see about making a video on it. Subscribe. I could use some subscribers. And you have a good day.